this tip was prompted by a conversation I was having on Ravelry with someone going through the master hand knitting program about whether there was a rule for using a smaller size on ribbing. And there really isn't a rule for this at all. The final test is how the ribbing looks, and if the ribbing doesn't look good, you got to fix that problem. And one of the possible solutions that you can use is using a smaller needle. Uh, I'll go into much more detail on my blog entry on this, but first I want to show you what looks bad in ribbing. Now this is something, and it's exaggerated, that you see in Knit 2 Pearl 2 ribbing. And if you notice, the size of the stitches in this column are significantly smaller than the size of the stitches in this column. And the reason for that is that when the knitter, in this case me, transitions from a knit to a purl, they don't bring the yarn forward completely. And that excess yarn is going to do one of two things. It's going to work its way back into the knit stitch, or it's going to leave a ladder. And if you notice, there is a ladder next to this column of knit stitches to the purl stitches. And you often see this in cables. This is what makes cables look awful. And it also can <clears throat> make your seed stitch look holy. And it's a fairly easy problem to solve without having to resort to smaller needles. Now, if you use smaller needles, yes, that will make this column of stitches smaller, but there's still gonna be a gap of yarn in there. It'll be a smaller gap of yarn, but it will still be there. So uh, in my mind, it always seems better to solve the problem from that end rather than trying to do a workaround. Now, this is noticeable in Knit 2 Pearl 2 ribbing. And here's some Knit 1 Pearl 1 ribbing. And this looks great. You think, well, the ribbing looks pretty nice. The stitches are all the same size. But the problem with it is if you compare the size of the knit stitches in this column to the knit stitches in this column, there is a significant difference. This ribbing is way too loose. And in this case, yeah, maybe smaller needles would help. But you could also fix it by just improving how you rib. And I've got some examples of both. This is good ribbing. Notice there's no ladders. Notice that the knit stitches are similar in size. It pulls in. This is what you want your ribbing to look like, knit to purl to ribbing. Here's what you want your ribbing to look like when it is at the bottom of the piece. And let me get that other one and compare. Yes, the stitches are still a tiny bit larger than the stitches above, but they're much closer than this example. And this ribbing will continue to function as rib. This is very loose and it's not going to provide a good foundation at the bottom of that garment. Now to properly rib, once I drop my needle and then find it, okay. Here's where the problem lies. I'm going to knit the stitch and knitters have a tendency, whether they are continental or um, right, hand, uh, right hand throwers like me, to bring the yarn fairly forward and tight for knit stitches. But the problem is, is when you go to the purl. And what happens is this, and I see this all the time. You go to purl and look at all that excess yarn in between the knit stitch and the purl. Well, by the next stitch, because the yarn's already forward, it's fixed. And for some reason, again, people tend to bring the yarn back firmly when they go from a purl to a knit. And then like this, sloppy, not bring it forward. And that excess yarn is gonna leave a ladder and make the stitches large. Now what you can do instead is you can make sure that you bring the yarn completely forward. Now you don't need to yank on it and pull really tight. If you do that, it's just gonna make the knit stitches over here smaller. You just wanna ensure that it's forward tightly, just give it a light little tug, and then make the knit the purl stitch. And that is gonna eliminate all that excess space. Now once I've taught this to someone in a conference and I was watching them and they were just like doing this. Yank, 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 purl, pull, pull, pull. That's just gonna make those stitches tight. You don't need to exaggerate it. Now what happens is that if you do this, the first few times it's gonna feel unnatural. But after a while, it gets to 
be in a rhythm. And did you see what I did there on the first purl stitch? And I don't even know that I do this anymore. I bring it forward and I just give it a slight little tap, tap, and that eliminates that problem. Now in the blog entry that accompanies this, I'll go into great detail about smaller needle, larger needle, when to make that decision and so on. But I just wanted you to see that is my solution and I really have found that it works pretty well.